Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Baynet Weekly News. I am your host, JJ Atchison, and today's date is December 29th, 2023. It is the final weekly news of 2023. But without further ado, we have a lot to go over today, including plans released for a residential slash commercial project in Solomons and pedestrian hit by car flown to trauma center. That and more coming right on up. Principal planner of Solomon's Condos and Mixed Use, Christine Finnamore, presented an overview of the plan at the Calvert County Planning Commission's meeting on December 13th. The project consists of putting three buildings on less than an acre of land located in Solomon's Island on two lots totaling 0.67 acres zoned Solomon's Town Center. The plan is a proposed 34,483-square-foot four-story building for mixed use. 2,450 square foot commercial retail space and 32,033 square foot for 13 multifamily condominiums with parking and site improvements. One of the stories would be the condo units, another would be a first floor restaurant, and the third would be a retail space. Timothy Halt of Solomon's Condo Project LLC applied earlier this year for the building to be four levels or 45 feet. Most of the people who attended a meeting in February seemed to support the project. One man, James McQueen of Lusby, responded during the public comment period saying that the project will destroy the view and that they may need to consider the long-term effects. While step one to present the project is complete, some conditions must be met for the project to move forward, according to planning and zoning. A detailed site plan and final plan still need to be submitted and approved before Solomon's Condo Project LLC can apply for a construction permit. On December 28, 2023, at approximately 9.04 p.m., emergency services responded to a motor vehicle accident involving a pedestrian in the 4200 block of Smallwood Church Road. The striking vehicle's driver, a gray Dodge Challenger, stated the scene and immediately called 911. Upon arrival, responders discovered a 36-year-old male pedestrian on the roadside with multiple injuries, including two long bone fractures. EMS assessed the patient's condition and requested a medevac. Firefighters promptly established a landing zone nearby for Maryland State Police Aviation Command's Trooper 2, enabling the victim to be airlifted to MedStar Trauma Center for medical treatment. Authorities are currently investigating the incident. Emergency personnel responded to the 7100 block of Rose Hill Road on December 28, 2023 at approximately 11.55 a.m. for a serious motor vehicle accident. Upon arrival, crews discovered two vehicles involved in a head-on collision, resulting in injuries to the occupants. No entrapment was reported. EMS evaluated the occupants and transported one patient to UM Capital Region Trauma Center for treatment. The cause of the collision is currently under investigation. The Charles County Sheriff's Office is currently investigating a shooting that took place on the morning of December 28, 2023 at approximately 10.55 a.m. The incident occurred in the 2200 block of Old Washington Road in Waldorf. Upon their arrival at the scene, emergency crews discovered a 28-year-old male victim who had sustained a gunshot wound to the abdomen. The victim was promptly transported by ambulance to a nearby trauma center for medical treatment. Fortunately, his injuries are reported to be non-life-threatening. The shooting appears to be an isolated incident. The Charles County Sheriff's Office is actively pursuing leads in the case, according to a spokesperson. Further updates will be provided as new information becomes available. In a shocking turn of events, an Anne Arundel County police officer has been issued a criminal summons charging the officer with theft. The incident, which allegedly took place in late October 2023, involved the disappearance of gift cards from the Anne Arundel County Animal Care and Control Center in Millersville. The investigation began when an animal adoption on November 1, 2023, revealed that the gift bags meant to contain various animal care items, including two gift cards worth $50, were missing the expected gift cards. It was soon discovered that a temporary worker identified as Janeting had been assigned to the center at the same time and had access to the desk where the gift bags were stored. Surveillance footage captured Janeting tampering with the bags, while the gift cards were also still inside. Subsequently, it was revealed that she had used the stolen gift cards. Janeting, a three-year veteran of the Anne Arundel County Police Department assigned to the Bureau of Administration, now faces criminal charges. 
As a result, PFC B. Janeting has been administratively suspended without pay pending an investigation by the Office of Professional Standards. On December 27th at 10.30 a.m., the Charles County Sheriff's Office was notified of the body of an adult male in Matawoman Creek, about two miles away from Slavin's Dock, the location where missing person Jamel Lee Hung II, age 25 of Indian Head, was last seen. The descendant was transported to the office of the chief medical examiner in Baltimore for an autopsy and confirmation of the person's identity. Once the identity of the person has been confirmed, an updated press release will be issued. Anyone with information about this case is asked to call Detective Bringley at 301-609-6499. At approximately 8.04 a.m. on Wednesday, December 27, 2023, patrol units from the St. Mary's County Sheriff's Office were dispatched to a motor vehicle crash near the intersection of Willows Road and South Shangri-La Drive in Lexington Park, Maryland. Units arrived to find a 2003 Dodge Ram 1500 had struck a tree in a wooded area. The operator and sole occupant, Marcus Tyrone Harris, 69 of Great Mills, was pronounced deceased at the scene by fire and EMS. Harris was traveling in the Dodge Ram heading north on Willows Road toward Great Mills Road when, for unknown reasons, the vehicle exited the roadway and struck a tree. At this time, alcohol, drugs, or speed are not considered to be contributing factors in the crash. After the news of his untimely passing began to circulate, the St. Mary's County community started to reflect on the wonderful man Mr. Harris was. Harris was a longtime employee of St. Mary's County Recreation and Parks. During his time in the department, he met many friends and grew strong bonds with members of the community. And that's all we got for you this week on the Bayonet Weekly News. Again, my name is JJ Atchison. Happy New Year, everyone, and we'll see you all next week with the very first weekly news of 2024.